I mean, let's be honest. I don't have the time and don't care to get ready for a video, so this is what you get. This is going to be a check-in for my watch and shrink videos. Um, if you're just tuning in, I check in every Monday. Yes, it's Tuesday. I suck at life. I check in every Monday on my weight loss from after having baby. I'm eight weeks postpartum. We failed last week, so we started over. So this is actually technically the end of week one of working out, right? Yeah. I'm starting in week two. Yeah, so this I'm going to talk about the end of week one. So I'm going to check in at the end of this video because right now I want to talk about a subject that is near and dear to my tender heart. So today we are going to talk about people who are fat and lazy. Bear with me here guys. So when I first got pregnant, um, I had a close friend of mine. We were talking and I just made a joke about how long it was going to take for me to get back into shape after having baby. And this friend, I love him dearly, but he made this comment that kind of hit a nerve. <laughs> he goes, now that's just lazy. When I talked about how long it takes to get back into shape after having a baby and like I was joking around but like it was like a legit statement so anyway he made this comment he's like now that's just lazy I wanted to be like what <laughs> anyway so let's get back on topic here so people have this idea in their head and it's mostly like people who are like fitness gurus and just whatever or people who have never struggled with weight in their life maybe not People have this idea that if you're fat, you're lazy. Let's talk about that. All right? I'm technically fat. According to the record books, according to legit things, I am obese. For my weight and my height and my age, I'm obese, which is cool. And I'm cool with that. You probably never would guess that by looking at me like, yeah, I'm not the skinniest person, but you probably wouldn't guess that I'm like legally obese. Is that a legal thing? Anyway, but I'm the farthest thing from lazy. So call me lazy and see what happens. Like, in person. If you're calling me lazy on YouTube, I don't care about you because you're usually like a troll. Stepping aside, if someone's being rude to you on YouTube, click on their account and go to it. There's usually no videos, no followers, no nothing. They're trolls, okay? Don't let YouTube get to you guys. Anyway, back on topic. I'm the farthest thing from lazy, alright? I work out all the time. I always have. I've always, especially in the last few years, working out, fitness, eating right has been a big part of my life. But here I am, obese. So let's talk about that. I have hypothyroidism. All right. If you don't know what that is, it's uh, your thyroid which controls your metabolism. Mine's hypo, so it's not working properly. It's not doing its job. Hyper. Hypothy or hyperthyroidism is when it's working too much. Those are the really skinny people that eat whatever they want and they're anorexic looking and people make fun of them for not eating when they do. Ugh, people are so rude. Anyway, <laughs> so hypo is it's not working properly. Um, so basically, I got really, really fat even though I was working out, eating healthy, whatever else. Um, having a baby majorly affects your metabolism, the way your body is, the way you store fat now. Like usually sometimes you can store fat and still look good. Have a baby, it all goes right to your pooch. Like, I mean, it's just things that happen to your body. I mean, girls are not perfect. No one's perfect. Like everyone has this idea of perfectionism. Back on topic. So yeah, I have hypothyroidism. Um, I got pregnant with Braley. I had high blood pressure. I could not work out. I could not do anything besides lay on the couch for a good nine months. Yeah, I got fat. Would do you want me to like work out regardless and like have my have a heart attack and die or have my baby have a miscarriage? Like really? I mean, it just it happens. There's medical reasons. There's high blood pressure, bad knees. There's you know, there's, there's lots of reasons. Yes, making up excuses or using excuses is not going to help. But I'm just saying, like, there's legit people who are not lazy and are fat. I think I'm done with this van. I don't want to go on too long about it. I think that people just don't get it. Like, they think they can just be rude or say rude comments and just don't get it. You got to understand the basics of things where people are backing them up. There are people who are legit fat and lazy or they're 
fat because they're lazy. There really are people that are legit that. There really are people who legit are living off the state and are lying about it and doing it all wrong. But there really are people that legit need it, are doing it correctly, and need that, and that's fine. People always make these assumptions and judge people, and it's not fair. Yes, there are people who legit do these things, but there are people who don't. So why judge and make a fool of yourself? Anyway, okay, we're done. I don't want to make this too long. But this is just something to think about, everyone. Watch what you say. Think about what you say. Things hurt. I'm the type of person where, especially when it comes to fitness, I am a brutal motivator. I want people to be in my face, be like, Krista, you can do this. Get down and do it. Like, you know, that's how I motivate myself. So I know that in the past I have said you need to just get up and do it, not be lazy. I still stand by that. Because it is true, you need to find your drive, find your motivation, get angry, get mad at your body or whatever, but like be productive with it. Don't like sit on the couch and eat Cheetos because you're just going to be, you're just going to make it worse for yourself. Anyway, back to whatever. First of all, actually, I'm going to leave this on a positive note. Do your best. We're all going to make mistakes. We're all going to fall behind on our fitness goals. I had a fail week last week. I fell behind. It happens. Yeah, we do have lazy days. We do have lazy weeks. It's okay, you know, but just pick yourself back up and get back on track. Okay, time to check in. So, we're ending week one because I failed. So, we're just going to start going with that. I'm going to stop explaining that I failed the first week. <laughs> week one. Oh, let's see. I lost one pound. Yay! And then I think I lost a half an inch in my waist and a half an inch in my belly. And that's it. So yeah, I didn't have that great of progress, but back onto my hypothyroidism thing. Um, my thyroid was too high. I've explained that. It happened at four weeks. When Baden was four weeks old, I dried up. So anyway, it takes about four weeks for your thyroid to level out. So the last few weeks, my thyroid's just been crazy. I've been having like tremors. I've been moody. I've been nauseous all the time. I get like this metallic taste in my mouth all the time. It's not fun. Anyway, so I'm not getting to be hard on myself. I'm just going to up the ante this next week. I actually just had my thyroid checked yesterday, and it's still high, um, or it's still off. So even if it's too high and my body's trying to level out, it's going to make weight loss hard even though it's higher. Anyway, but we're not changing my dose. I'm just waiting more, waiting longer for my thyroid to level out. Like I said, it's been four weeks, so here we go to the next four weeks, and we'll just hope that... We start feeling better here. Okay. Uh, what I'm doing, Jillian Michaels, I'm on week two now. I love week two so far. She's pushing harder. I love I love being pushed hard during a workout. And yeah, if you don't know what Jillian, who Jillian Michaels is, who are you? First of all, if you don't know who Jillian Michaels is, Google her. She's awesome. She's one of those like brutal, um, brutal motivators. There we go. It's very, do this, you're doing this, do it now. That's how Jillian Michaels is. That's what I like. So anyway, um, she's very, I'm doing the Ripton, or yeah, the Ripton 30. It's basically cardio mixed with weights, and Jillian's style is basically she combines, she combines things. Like I'll be doing legs and arms at the same time, which gets your cardio up at the same time. Anyways, Jillian's amazing. So her, this is a four-week program. After the four weeks, I'll probably start Insanity for like the third time. All right, so I guess I'll just check in right quick now as far as like my body shot or whatever. And then, yeah. All right, here we are. End of week one results. Um, yeah, like I said, I've only lost like a half an inch here. Half an inch here, not much, but it's progress. Gross, gross. All right, and then I'm kind of known for having a gun show, so. Here we go on my arms. The reason why I show my arms all the time is because I've always had like really scrawny, skinny, pathetic arms. I'm bound and determined to build some muscle in these babies. So anyway, baby's crying. Be jealous. Be jealous. Ha ha. So make sure you subscribe. Um, I check in every week. If you want to stay motivated, check my progress, see how things are going. Uh, like I mentioned in the beginning, I just had a baby eight weeks ago, so this is kind of like postpartum, get back in shape. I have hypothyroidism. We talk about everything. 
we I talk about tips, diets, what's working for me, whatever else. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on everything I have in the description. I have a blog, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. If you're interested in any social media outlets, check there and yeah. Okay, do that. <laughs> Bye guys.